What's up guys, Dondi605 here, and today I'm here to uh, update, are you kidding me, right as I'm starting an intro, sorry. What's up guys, Dondi605 here, and welcome uh, back to another uh, update tutorial. Today I'm here to teach you how to actually uh, download custom maps uh, and uh, in Gorilla Tag single player. Uh, the reason why I'm actually updating this tutorial is because for some reason, some people didn't have access to some of the mods or maps. So I'm here to just update my guide as simple and as easy as possible. Now to get started you would have to uh, go to my Mediafire link that I archived the build that is needed to run these mods is the 1.1.4 uh, APK. Um, I'm going to do this on a fresh one just in case. Like one of these. So I'm going to build, I'm running this and you want to run this to actually uh, install the mods because if you do a current patch it's not going to work everything has been basically been removed and secured by lemming and current patch if in this method next what you're going to do want to do is download quest app version switcher or no quest patcher not quest app version switcher yeah you might want that if you want to do it natively but if you're doing it on the standalone pc this is the way to do it the reason why we need Quest App, uh, Quest Patcher, is so we can uh, in, load some mods into the game. And because the game is not modded, we can just easily patch it by pressing this button here and let it do its thing. Once it's done installing the mod APK, we can then get into installing some mods. So Monkey Code Gen is a dependency for both Monkey Computer and Gorilla Utils. So if you don't have this, it will not load any of the mo most of the mods. You all, you definitely need three of these libraries, and I'll have them in my description for you if you need them. But you probably will if you want to run some of these things. Then next, you're gonna want to load install Monkey Map Loader. You can go to my previous guide and maybe setting that up. And most of these mods, because there's no servers yet, um, or at least from how I'm trying to fix it, there's most of these mods are not really available anymore, um, simply because they would require a um, a server to run. And because there's no server, uh, because we're on an older version, we can't run them, most of them at least. Um, I will try the cosmetics mod because. Although Monkey Map Lures and the Cosmetics seem to not like each other, so I would recommend if you're going to use Monkey Map Loader, uh, disable Cosmetics if you want to, but because it, it does seem to have a tendency to crash easier with Monkey Map Loader and Cosmetics on. So do this at your own risk. It's not really, it's no, there's no downside in it. It's just um, not something I, I deal when it comes to doing mods like this. Then, in order to install maps, you would have to go over here, switch this tab to maps, and you have the options to actually install them here through the browse button. Now, ideally, what you would want, where you would want to go to get these maps uh, up, uh, go, uh, safely, is go and search up monkey uh, map hub. And these usually have like more uh, uh, maps that are generally more stable. But if you're looking for maps on YouTube, you generally will find more unfamiliar ones. Um, for instance, I found this one a while ago. I'm going to download, for instance, like for example, Cool Cool Mountain Super Mario DS 64 DS. So once you download your maps, you can go back to Quest Patcher, uh, click that little browse button, and then just basically uh, highlight every one that you want um, for instance if it doesn't cr and this is usually a good idea because you can experience more stuff when the maps don't crash and usually these verify ones don't really have issues so we're good to go on there so now cosmetics on the other hand um, I do have a background though on here it's only just one uh, maps yeah so now I'm going to go on the quest side of things and show you how to do it from there. 
immediately when you actually get a uh, uh, it installed on the mods, you'll get this notification pop up uh, before prior to recording saying like uh, oh uh, it's a, an unofficial version of Growth Tech. Just click close. Don't hit restore. If you hit restore, it's just gonna revert it to the official version without the mods and will wipe the modifications, which we don't want if we're gonna be doing this and following this tutorial. So let's just load up Grotag and hope it goes correct according to plan. Now, if you, you might want to allow some permissions like storage. If you see those, do them. Okay, we're in the game. And we just loaded and we have microphone permissions, but there's no server. Reason why is because I think Lemming not only put a um, a wife uh, like a different server on check on there, but we also have the Banana OS. So we have Map Utilities because we have no mods installed because there's no really need, need to have that because most of the mods don't really work. You can find some mods that actually do work even offline. I just don't know how it's gonna turn out in the end game. And then once you get here, it no longer says you are banned indefinitely because obviously Nox I might have changed some things from the past. But also, if you go up to Stump, you'll notice something very different and is familiar in my previous videos. And that is the thing with this. This was originally when Nox Tag was originally around and when you were out of date from on it. So that explains why it does no longer ban you because you're not on the official servers anymore. So what we're going to do is to go map, load a map, we're going to press enter. We're going to basically select a map we want to select. Uh, preferably something new. Actually, we'll try, we'll try, um, um, sword fights on the heights, for instance. And once you press, oh God. And once you press that uh, twice, it basically loads the map. Oh, this is also, um... Well, no wonder why I didn't select this map earlier. Why is this approved? But, yeah, mine isn't. I feel like it's very foreign for a map to have literally no lighting and get approved by the moderation of whatever this is. You wanna... We're going to exit out of that. Now, I have tested this. And it does seem like it crashes on a couple map loads. But it's usually only when I load certain maps for some reason. This one was always my favorites. Just the good maps was always what I liked. If I was like exploring something new, yeah, sure, I would probably check other things. But usually these are just the fun parts of modding the game. Sad to say no multiplayer, but hey, you know, beggars can't be choosing for now. Well, if you enjoyed this tutorial, be sure to leave a like, subscribe, uh, uh, let me know what your thoughts are on this update tutorial. And, uh, yeah. Um, and, and pretty soon, uh, I'll be, uh, keep an eye out on updates on the PS4, uh, custom firmware thing, so I can keep an, up on, uh, keep an update on that. And, uh, yeah, I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Find it helpful, useful. Please leave a like, subscribe, and comment, and I'll leave to see you guys next time. Peace out. Bye.